Hello and welcome to my channel, the so-called Travel Expert. We are here at the beautiful ski resort of Garmisch Partenkirchen in Germany. So in case you're a complete uh, beginner or a newcomer to Germany and you've always wondered how to go about skiing, here are the basics uh, that I have for you. Keep watching. Here's a map showing the overview of the ski resort and our journey begins at the base of the Hausberg Bahn, which is a short five minute drive from the center of Garmisch. So that's the road, access road to the ski resort if you're driving from Garmisch Partenkirchen. It's a short walk for 10 minutes or you can also take the car, but avoid the times between 8.15 and 8.30 as it really queues up. That's also the train station and this is the train which goes to Greinau and onwards onto uh, the Zugspitze. So this is the train we will be taking later. That's the Hausberg ski area and if there was a good winter you would already see all those mountains uh, under snow. It's in a poor shape currently, so all that is just artificial uh, snow. But once you take the gondolas and go up, uh, that's where the real ski resort starts and the snow quality is fairly good out there. So that tower out there is the center of Garmisch. Uh, like I said, it's a short 15 minute walk or you could also choose to drive. But there's a single access road and you can already see the traffic queuing up. So best to get here at 8 o'clock and avoid this traffic. And then there's also a huge parking lot. And the parking costs around 5 euros for the day. So this is a huge parking area and it's very well organized. And there are a couple of ski rental shops as well. You can see one over here, the red. And there's another one here, the Ski Falai Gapa for Garmisch Partenkirchen. So that's where we usually rent our skis from. And we'll head inside there. Now, the most important thing is uh, the kind of clothes that you need to wear. So as a beginner, uh, here are the few basics that you really need to carry along with you, which is a ski pant, a waterproof ski pant, a nice jacket, a waterproof jacket as well. Uh, and a helmet. The rest of the ski gear, things like the skis or the snowboard and the shoes and the poles can easily be rented and here are the costs involved for renting. So the first thing you need to do is to go in and register if you want to rent skis. The staff are quite friendly and also speak English to those who are not fluent in German. There is no requirement of booking the ski equipment in advance. If you want to beat the crowds and avoid long waiting times, be sure to get here at 8 in the morning. This is also the meeting point for the ski school participants. The ski school offers two slots, either in the morning or in the afternoon, and the courses are offered in German as well as in English. That's our group, fully equipped and ready to ski. And here are some glimpses of the short 10 minute cable car ride from the car park to the Hausberg ski area. So we've just got off the lift and now we've come to the uh, actual ski area. So this, this part is called the Hausberg Resort. For the last couple of years, uh, the kids have also been taking uh, group lessons. But this year we also chose uh, private lessons for the kids. So here are the main differences between group lessons and private lessons. If you are a complete beginner, the first couple of sessions are usually just spent on the nursery slopes in the Kinderland. And you could then use the afternoons to just practice what you have learnt that morning. As the next step, you would then graduate onto the T-bar lifts also in Kinderland. 
And once you've become comfortable with the Kinderland slopes, then you can graduate onto the chairlifts. Just look at the excitement of getting onto the chairlift. And this year, we registered the kids for a private training session to further improve their parallel skiing and to go down steeper red slopes. So we have our trainer, Alex, uh, with us. He has uh, done the private training uh, for the children over the last two days. So I was talking to him, asking him a few questions. Uh, so my first question would be, how long have you been uh, working here, Alex? And he answered in German. He will also answer again in German. But he's been working here since uh, 40 years. So ever since he was 16. So that's really a lot of experience. Was möchten Sie dazu sagen? Ja, meine Länge, das ist mir fair und das muss man halt leben. Schiller sein muss man, muss man leben, dass man auch das rüberbringt, sage ich mal, die, die Technik rüberbringen kann, das, das Freude am Skifahren rüberbringen kann. Man muss das einfach, diesen Schneesport leben für das Ganze. Sehr gut, danke, danke dafür. And I also asked him, uh, you know, when new beginners are thinking of whether to take group lessons or private training, which is the better option. So he, he said his, his recommendation is obviously if you want to focus really on improving the minor aspects, you are better off taking private lessons. But there is also a cost factor to that because private lessons are always more expensive compared to group lessons. So I would say in my view, from our experience, I would say that for the kids, you can always start off with uh, group lessons. It's much That's right. easier. That's right. And for adults like us who are late starters, I would always recommend start with a private instructor. That's right. Vielleicht uh, können Sie auch dazu. Für, für die Erwachsenen ist es besser, einen Privatlehrer zu nehmen, weil dann habe ich einen oder zwei Schüler, auf dem kann ich mich komplett konzentrieren, ähm, wo ich mir die ganze Technik erklären kann. Bei den Kindern erklärt man das Ganze oder macht man ja sehr viel spielerische Sachen mit Spiele, das Ganze zum die Übungen zum Fahren und da geht es auch leichter in der Gruppe und es ist auch für die Kinder schöner, wenn man so Spiele macht, dass man das in der Gruppe macht, das Ganze. Sehr gut, das ist alles. Vielen Dank für Ihre Zeit. Gerne. So I just said thank you to him and many thanks for sparing some time to talk to us. Vielen Dank nochmals, Alex. Thank you very much and have a nice time. Thank you. There's quite a wide range of options on offer and I must say they were quite reasonably priced. If you want to avoid the crowds, it is best to avoid the prime slot between 12 and 1. We also experienced skiing in snowfall for the first time this year. And believe me, it was a wonderful experience. So that's it for this video. I hope you found the information in this video useful. And if so, please do leave a positive comment. And yes, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.